brought your Christmas cards. They're checking them to make sure I didn't smuggle you in a knife. I talked to your mother this morning. She's pretty shook up. She would like to come see you. You know, I've got two days left. And I've been thinking a lot about the end. I've had a pretty fulfilled life. Women, drugs, travel, rock and roll, school, football, about everything there is. I'm looking death in the eyes. And I'm coming to terms with it. And I'm getting ready to go. But my mother, If she starts crying and breaking down, you don't always have to be this tough Marlborough man. Real men cry, you know. There's another mother who's suffering, Matt. Mary Beth Percy. She and Hope were very close. They used to talk to each other almost every night on the phone. They used to go shopping together. She had her brother come to dig her daughter's jaw out of a body bag to do a dental check before she could accept that this daughter, whom she loved so much, was really dead. And she will live every day of her life knowing that her daughter died a terrible death and alone. And hope? Have you ever really faced her pain? Felt it? Taken it inside yourself? Or Walter? I'm saying all of this to you because I care about you. And I just can't see you going to your death and not owning up to the part you played in Hope and Walter's death. It's terrible what happened to those kids. But it's hard, man, to be having any sympathy for those parents. When here they're trying to kill me. When someone's after your eyes, it tends to occupy your mind, if you know. Look at what these parents are going through. Their kids shot, stabbed and left to die in the woods. What if someone did that to your mother? What would you do to them? I'd kill them. I'm sure I said I'd want to kill them. Very good. <laughs> Any good manga? I don't know what it looks like. What's that? I don't know what I look like. That's a joke. What? It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. yeah. You just go and nail it, you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you guys start doing circles of attention, take note of what Frankie just did then. What? Oh, no, you, you'll get to it. It's just that your your eye lines, your um, your focus is excellent. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. It's really good, and and it's well, it's focused. Yeah. You know, um, and that is really an important key to when you are having a two handed with someone. Yeah. That most of the time you are looking and just listening to the person. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it makes it a hell of a lot easier to go from you back to them. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it also makes it a lot easier for us to understand the different thought changes that you have. Gotcha. Like the inner monologue. Yeah. When when you listen to yeah. someone and when you react yeah. to what they're saying to you. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier for us to, to get it. We're right. more in the moment with you because yeah. we're watching. And also too, 
Um, you don't blink very much, no. which is excellent, which is another huge plus. Mm. Is it when, because repetitive blinking really does detract from, from your character. Right. Yeah, no matter what character it is that you play. Right. Unless, of course, you are specifically directed by the director that, you know, you've got miasma or something. Gotcha, which, yeah. You know, yeah. where you're blinking yeah. a lot. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, but that's a key, is not blinking, and yeah. you've got that down for sure. Lovely. Yeah. Thanks, so. Thanks, Very nice. Lovely. Lovely. Thanks, Sophie. So, Frankie. Yeah.